Hi kids, it's Nani. I have a new book tonight I haven't read before and it's about fireflies. Just like Grandpa Skip's book was about Sam and the firefly, but this is a different book and I don't think it's even been read before because it looks like it's brand new. And this fellow wrote this book to his mother and father with love. So it's called Fireflies. On a summer evening, I looked up from dinner through the open window to the backyard. This looks like a young boy. Maybe on his porch. Oh no, he was in the kitchen. That's right, kitchen window. It was growing dark. My treehouse was a black shape in the tree, and I wouldn't go up there now. But something flickered there a moment. I looked, and it was gone. It flickered again. Over near the fence, fireflies. Don't let your dinner get cold, said Mama. See him looking out at his treehouse? Boy, we've had a lot of stories with treehouses lately. I forked the meat and corn and potatoes into my mouth. May I please go out? The fireflies? Mama smiled and Daddy nodded. Go ahead. Moms and dads remember what it was like to be a child, a kid, and want to be out with the chasing fireflies. I ran from the table down to the cellar to find a jar. I knew where to look, right behind the stairs. So there he is at the table with his mom and dad, and they say, Yep, finish your dinner, you can go. And here he is down in the basement, getting a jar for his fireflies. And what do you do with the jar when you put fireflies in it? The jars were dusty. I polished one clean on my shirt, and I ran back up two steps at a time. What do you do? Holes, I remembered. You have to put holes in the cap so they can breathe. And as quietly as I could, so she wouldn't catch me dulling her scissors, I poked holes in the top of the jar with Mama's scissors. Mm. There we go, there he goes up. And then he remembers holes in the top of the jar so the fireflies can breathe. The screen door banged behind me as I ran from the house. If someone said, don't slam it, I wasn't listening. I called to my friends in the street, fireflies, but they had come before me with polished jars and others were coming behind. So now we have him running outside and finding all of his friends outside also with jars. That's cool. Here, let me put it closer. The sky was darker now. My ears rang with crickets and my eyes stung from staring too long. Now you stare to see, where's the light? Where's the light blinking? I blinked hard as I watched them. Fireflies blinking on, blinking off, dipping low, soaring high above my head, making patters in the sky. We ran like crazy, barefoot in the grass. Catch him, catch him, we cried, grasping at the lights. There he is with all of his friends out running after the fireflies, which you can see better when it gets darker. Suddenly a voice called out above all others. I caught one and it was my own. I thrust my hand into the jar and spread it open and the jar glowed like moonlight. As I held it in my hands, I felt a tremble of joy and shouted, I can catch hundreds. Do you think? There he is with his first firefly. Out in his bare feet. Your grass in your bare feet feels terrific, I think. I love being in my bare feet. Then someone called from my house. Whoops, whoops, no, skipped a page. We dashed about, waving our hands in the air like nets, catching two, ten, hundreds of fireflies, thrusting them into the jars, waving our hands for more. Looks like snow, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, my, that's a beautiful picture. You can just feel the fun looking at that picture. Then someone called from my house. Time to come in now. And others called from other houses. And it was over. My friends took jars of flyer, fireflies to all their different homes. There's Dad calling from the house. And here's all the friends heading home. Like good kids, they go when they get called. Well done. Good job, kids. I climbed the stairs to my room and set the jar on a table near my bed. Mama kissed me and turned out the light. 
I caught hundreds, I said. Daddy called from the hallway. See you later, alligator. Good night. I love you. After a while, crocodile, I called. I caught hundreds of fireflies. There's Mama saying good night. Whoops. Yep. Daddy saying good night. After a while, crocodile. In the dark, I watched the fireflies from my bed. They blinked off and on, and the glow jar glowed like moonlight. But it was not the same. The fireflies beat their wings against the glass and fell to the bottom and laid there. Oh, he does have a lot of them. Look at all of those in that jar. See it? Yeah. I don't think he was feeling really good about having all those fireflies in the jar. The light in the jar turned yellow like a flashlight left on too long. I tried to swallow, but something in my throat wouldn't go down, and the light grew dimmer and green, like moonlight under the water. It's like they were kind of fading. Hmm. So what do you think you're doing? I shut my eyes tight and put the pillow over my head. They were my fireflies. I caught them. They made moonlight in my jar. But the jar was almost dark. I flung off the covers. I went to the window, opened the jar, aimed it at the stars, and said, Fly off, fireflies. They needed to be free to make their magic, didn't they? They didn't belong in the jar. They belonged out in the yard, making their beautiful lights. Then the jar began to glow green and gold and white as the moon, and the fireflies poured out into the night. Fireflies blinking on, blinking off, dipping low, soaring high above my head, making circles around the moon like stars dancing. I think this boy did the right thing, made the right choice. The fire's flies were made to light up the world. I held the jar dark and empty in my hands. The moonlight and the fireflies swam in my tears. But I could feel myself smiling. I had done the right thing. And he had done the right thing. He let those fireflies go free, just like on Breland's birthday. Maddie and Bree and Joey and Will, Kinsley, Gavin, Emerson, Hadley, and Breland all let the fireflies, the butterflies, go free, which is what butterflies and fireflies are meant to be out in the yard making beautiful things. I love you all, and I hope you sleep tight. Good night. <laughs>